And so eventually I ended up at Coke and I started in a sales role with Coke, which was fun, different account management stuff yeah. out in the trade, knocking on doors, yeah. but it evolved in, I was a Pepsi spy for Coca-Cola for about a year and a half. And I was the, how do we bring data to what we're hearing Pepsi is doing in the market? So to any Pepsi folks out there, you know, all due respect, (laughs) I was watching you Uh, and you know, the CEO would get stuff in his inbox, like, Oh, Pepsi's doing this or our biggest competitors doing that. And so my job was just to go find the data to see what they were really doing, listening to earnings calls. And I really enjoyed the data side. My first day home from working in that space, literally my, my wife said to me, how was it? And I said, I had the best time today. I just played with numbers. Hmm. And the other piece was selling. There's a lot of emotion in selling, right? There's a lot of emotion of the deal. And then Coke customers, they'd say, ah, we're going to take Coke out of here. We're going to bring in Pepsi, which nobody's doing in Atlanta, by the way. They know that's suicide for their business. (laughs) But all of a sudden, I just started having this revelation like, oh, I really enjoy the insights, the Mm -hmm. learnings, how it impacts even Coke's business of what's happening in the marketplace. And that was 2011. But just okay. over time, I started tinkering in different reporting, dashboard, and then all of a sudden in analytics tools that evolved into a career in analytics that I never would have forecasted, no mm-hmm. pun intended mm-hmm. there, um, forecasted to have happened in my career. 